All right, in this video, let's take a, a quick overview of what FTS is and why it's pretty cool. And I don't know why more people don't use it. Uh, but uh, it's just not, It's uh, at least in my experience, it's one of those things uh, that seems to be rarely used. All right, so what is full text search? It encompasses techniques for searching text-based data and documents, all right? The primary function of a full text is to optimize linguistic searches linguistic language based searches all right uh, I'm, I'm really surprised when you do ask someone even ask a DBA uh, what's uh, what's full text search and see if they can tell you it's simply it's a language based uh, searching tool uh, it's it's weird that a lot of people you know even those that work with it don't really know it's kind of one of those mysterious uh, products all right so it's designed to allow linguistic based searches against text types uh, set up there same thing all right uh, again maybe I'm just trying to get a you know try to reinforce what it is so if someone asks you uh, it's you you'll be able to reel it off the top of your head uh, it's been around since 7.0 all right why is that important well it's important because it's been around for a long time uh, and it really wasn't used in 7.0 and it has changed greatly um, there were a lot of problems with this version even some of the versions uh, until now, uh, lots have changed. Um, the uh, the new version uh, SQL Server is called. Um, you'll see this a lot. You see the I in front of the FTS. Where up here, FTS is by itself. All right. So if someone you slap an I in front of it, it means integrated. All right, integrated full text search, which means it's really uh, with with uh, 2008, it's really integrated into the SQL Server engine. All right, so. Uh, what are we saying here? Modern search solutions such as or pre -comp yeah, uh, they do it by using pre-compiled indexes on words that were previously extracted from searchable content. All right, so uh, here we don't want to get into how these, uh, how the content's created, and how the indexes are created. We just want to give a brief overview of what it is, set one up, and do a simple search. All right, just to get a a, a taste of of integrated full text searching. All right. So let's see if you're storing word processors or documents, for instance, the pre-compiled index will contain all the words and the documents and references back to the source documents themselves. All right, pointers, all right, pointers back to the documents themselves. The IFS architecture consists of several full text components working in cooperation with the SQL Server query engine to perform efficient linguistic searches. And again, here's the key, really. All right, it's working in co-op co -op co operation. Can't say that word with the SQL Server query engine, okay? Integrated FTS, all right? That's the, that's the key. All right, so what are we taking away from this? Uh, uh, Language-based searches, right? It's integrated into the query engine. Um, and it's a pretty cool feature. So let's, now that we've done the, the, the boring part, let's go take a look. And here, let's create a, uh, what is this? What is it? On the production product, uh, let's create a, a full text catalog here. On we want to be able to search these quickly, and let's go and whoop, full text index right there. So we want to right click on the table in question. We want to define the search right. Mm, yep, it will list here uh, valid indexes you can use. We got one. That's it. So you can only use one. All right, we're not going to delve into creating this and and all this. Just again, I just want to show you um, the basics here. So uh, we've got our options. What can we what can we search on? Well, we've already said we've already defined what we want to search on. We want to use name. Name. I speak English most of the time. I'm not sure that some people might argue with that. Type column. We won't talk about that now. All right, how do we want to track it? All right, automatic or manually do not track change. All right, um, so when someone does an insert and adds another row, how do we want it tracked? All right, and here when it's fine, the full population of index occurs to avoid population at the end of the wizard. All right, all right. we want to do it automatically for our test here. Again, we're, we're probably, um, so we're going to prowl this uh, production product. Uh, it's insensitive and sensitive. How do you want the search? Uh, I want it to be insensitive. I want to 
Uh, let's see where I select a file group. That's pretty cool. You can put it on. You can see I've got two other file groups from another uh, video I did on creating file groups that we could use if we wanted to. Uh, we'll leave it here. Uh, select stop list. We're not going to talk about that. Uh, we're not going to talk about scheduling or new catalog schedule. Here's our really cool synopsis. Again, one of my I really like this. This is a really great thing. Uh, whomever, who, whoever did this. So let's finish this. Let's run it. That was quick, right? All right. So let's go look. At, let's go find the catalog. All right. So we did it on the table. Let's pull all this up. Drag it. All right. Let's come down here and look at our uh, look at our objects. So security server objects, and we want to look at. Uh, no, no, it's not on objects, is it? Where did it go? Ooh, it's not. It's actually under here. Storage. My fault. Oh, look, there we go. Let's refresh, make sure. Yep, and let's take a look at it. What are the properties of this thing? Mm hmm, mm hmm. All right, so owner DBO. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Tables. All right, so we've got one table, and it's on the name, and it gives us information, but we've got to set it to automatic. There is no schedule because we didn't find one. Cool. All right, so let's look at the. Uh, the query to run. All right, so let's run this thing. Blank. That was quick, right? Uh, so w there are two. Uh, the, the where it contains, and then there's a free text option. Uh, one is more granular than the other, um, and there are some other subtle differences. But again, for this demonstration, all we want to do was discuss what free text was, uh, set it up, and do a brief example. And that's what we did. And you can see, and you're like, well. Pfft, how can you tell if it's you know it's even one well uh, by the syntax here you, this isn't normal SQL all right this is uh, yes it's where it contains this normal SQL but we have some uh, the way it's syntactic syntactic I'm sure that's not a word the uh, the way it's structured and let's take another let's right click let's right click and how about we go to ooh look full text match all right that's how you can tell right because it says all right very cool is that a good match actually for the 56 the cost 40 percent is closer to index seek yeah that's good news all right well it doesn't even matter uh, what matters is that we've set this thing up we've walked through it and the, the, you know let me mention it. it's easy you see how we just set that up and uh, we didn't know we didn't do any word breakers, or stemmers or anything we didn't get into it but if you you really want to take advantage of searching uh, some language based uh, stuff or some documents in your organization look how simple this was it was really straightforward all right oh that's it I'm done talking and I'm almost over the time uh, so let's uh, stop later